Right, looks like we've moored up just in time. Sun's gone in and the clouds have opened. And guess what's in the oven? Jacket potatoes. More jacket potatoes. <laughs> Will we ever get sick of jacket potatoes cooked in the fire? We had jacket potatoes yesterday when Richard was with us and uh, we put beans on it that time. So we're having it with... Bolognese. <laughs> bolognese sauce today. Yes. Excellent. Fantastic. Thanks to everyone that's been asking about how the new boat build is coming along. Uh, we were due to go and see it last week, but as uh, Boris has locked us down again, <laughs> we can't uh, go, obviously. Um, but it is coming along. It's a bit behind schedule, as you might imagine, during these times. But uh, we got some video, didn't we, of the boat being sprayed yeah, on the outside. so exciting. Looks really good. And the inside's coming along. The bulkheads are in, I think, and uh, the, it's all lined and they're working on the bathroom now. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be, as I said, January, sort of February time. Um, but we're not worried. We've still got a boat to play with and we just want it right, not rushed. It does seem that time is going very slowly at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we know that, we're, as you say, we're on a boat, we can play. Um, yeah. So. And we're happy and cosy. So it'll be a lovely time, February It'll be a lovely time to start new travels, won't It'll it? It'll be fabulous, so. yeah, ready for the spring, yeah. So, uh, again, thanks all for asking. Thank you. Oh, this is where it all started when I was a kid at the age of 10. Mum and Dad hired our first narrowboat from here, Norbury Junction. And uh, then there was a company called Shropshire Union Cruisers who uh, hired out boats and um, absolutely loved it. And this is where I got my love of the canals from. It, take, it took a long, long time for me to get back on the canal system. Uh, but no regrets. So yeah, at the age of 10, first came here. I remember that white building in the background, that's about it actually. I just don't remember these old wharves and, and uh, work buildings at all. But um, yeah, a, a amazing. And that's been nearly 50 years ago. But here, uh, is the um, arm that's disused now that went all the way down to Shrewsbury originally um, and Newtown and uh, there are plans afoot to get it repaired and uh, restored rather but uh, I don't think much has come of that at the moment but if you actually go on Google Earth I'll show you you can actually trace the uh, line of the old canal and some of it is still in, in water. Interesting. Well, we're actually moving on a really 
blowy day it's set up this morning at 7 30 we need to get to market drayton for monday which is about 10 miles away from where we started and uh, fran's got a eye appointment optician's appointment so um hopefully the wind won't get too much that we can't cruise anymore so we're gonna keep going until we have to stop but yeah memories memories eh? Fran's downstairs making me a bit of toast and some coffee and they're promising us 40 mile per hour gusts today and uh, heavy rain so I don't think she's gonna venture on top today Well, let's hope I'm not under one of these when they come falling down. I've had enough with near misses and trees for my life. What a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So we're cruising through a soup of leaves and uh, have to keep stopping and reversing to un unclog. But I love days like this, really blowy. It's not cold at all. Iconic haunted bridge number 39, and the rate the uh, leaves are falling, I don't think we'll have many left on the trees after this weekend. This is day two of Storm Aiden. We've had 40 mile an hour gusts, quite high trees around us as well, so uh, a bit concerned in the night a couple of times. But it turned out not to be much of a storm, more of a damp squid really, hasn't it, friend? It has turned uh, autumn into winter overnight though, because the leaves have nearly gone. Yeah. Oh, you can be quiet. <laughs> So um, we've got eight miles to do today and five locks to get us into Market Drayton. We've just been told we're going back into a month long lockdown on Thursday. So Market Drayton is the place where we're going to stay. Yeah, so the only problem is we've got a, quite a deep cutting to get through. Um, the locks are okay, but it's tree lined, isn't it? And we're not quite sure what the leaves are going to be like. Uh, I'm also hoping that no trees have come down yeah. overnight. One boat has gone that way already this morning so uh, yeah as long as they don't turn around and come back we can keep going <laughs> well, we'll just see right let's do this let's go <laughs> in the background we used to make chocolate for Cadbury's apparently and they used to transport 
their goods to and from Bourneville in Birmingham from this wharf. Beautiful old wharf. And the uh, factory now at the back makes bird's custard powder and angel delight apparently. Yum yum. There's some, certainly some history there, isn't there? Looks like it's a wet dock in there now for painting boats. Well, the sign there says that uh, it was used between 1911 and 1961 for the transportation of chocolate crumbs to Bourneville factory in Birmingham. There's Fran underneath the bridge with her origin of winter wood. Reminds me of a French peasant painting by Corbier. <laughs> Peace with yourself. Looks like these cut, narrow cuttings are very susceptible to landslides and glad we weren't coming through here when that one went down. Uh, we're at the top of Turley Lux, it's five locks to go now, beautiful setting, old wharfs and one of these properties is for sale with its own mooring. That would be superb wouldn't it? So we just stopped here for a bit of lunch and uh, made use of the water facilities, filled the tank up and now we're off to do five locks so hopefully we'll be moored up in an hour just outside Market Drayton.
less luck of the day and it's decided to pee down just done it in time just about another five or ten minutes cruising till we get to our mooring spot well hopefully there's a spot <laughs> this golden canopy is just incredible look at those roots in that sandstone amazing beech tree gorgeous day I am making the most of this bright autumn day to try and sort out our little collection of houseplants which we're collecting, as you do collect collections. Um, not an expert on houseplants but we've really got a bit bitten by the bug and we quite like having them in the boat. Some of them hang, this hangs in a hanging basket, this chap really needs to hang, I might start making some macrame. We don't really know what any of them are. This is supposed to be a good luck money plant. But these three succulents were bought as tiny, tiny little plants and have grown like mad, but are getting quite leggy because there's not enough light in the boat. We haven't got enough window spots for them. Um, we have found a little bit of a solution for some, which I'll show you in a moment. But what I really wanted to show you was these. And when we were last moored, I think it was at Nozal, there was a community planter or several community planters and these strawberry plants were hanging all over the edge of the planters and trailing so we just snipped a few little runners off and have planted them in this trough hopefully they're going to stay in here all winter and maybe give us an early crop of strawberries um i'm hoping that they'll get a little bit of light in here today i'll give them a spray with water and maybe they'll all perk up a little bit because they're looking a little bit sad but we do quite like having them on the boat and we found an ikea shelf which we've not used so i've painted it up and popped it in front of the kitchen porthole window these were sage cuttings that i took just about a month six weeks ago off of a plant grown by the side of the canal community not from somebody's garden it's purple sage and these are two little babies off of our spider plant and I'm really hoping they're going to take off. It's warm and bright here. And so we're going to look after them in the winter. And we need more of this on the new boat. That's the plan. Well, here we are in our lockdown site. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? <laughs> Terrible. So we've uh, had a bit of a bonus today. We've just been in the town. We've filled up with water. Had a pump out which was free of charge because the machine had credit in it we didn't have to use our prepaid card um we bought bags of coal gas and a gas bottle so we're all set now we filled up with water and uh we can be here now for over a week before we have to fill up with water again yeah. so um what we've then got to do is go ahead through five locks, top of the locks there's a water point and other moorings in a lovely place as well. So we can go up there in a week or so, get the water, and there's a winding hole as well. There's a winding there? hole there, yeah. So then we can, well I suppose, well we'll have to come back this way at some point because this is where the shops are. Yeah. So we can go up there for perhaps a week and then legitimately come back down again because we need to come and stock up with shopping by then. It couldn't be better really, could it? great we're about a 20 minute walk from the shops so and there's a green grocer in town we haven't got to really even go supermarket shopping just the tins and stuff but we can avoid the shops yeah it's lovely this is uh this is if this is lockdown bring it on boris <laughs> and even the sun the sun is coming up over there setting over here so by the time we've tilted solar panels we'll have we've got no trees to shade us so we should be able to pick up solar all day long it's just weather permitting yeah and it's fairly quiet you get the odd person up and down here but it's not a busy towpath at all no um lovely so yes. uh this is our for the next four weeks we've got to just uh do videos on walking 
not much cruising to be we've done. We've got a new board game to play. Yes. Um, we've got all the books to read and everything, but we know we're lucky. You know, we know we're luck so lucky compared to many people that are not where they want to be. And obviously, we would rather be cruising, but if you've got to stay in one place, I don't think we could have chosen better. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, shall we put the kettle on then? I'm going for a snooze. I've been up since four, five today and then cleaning the chimney out at 6.30, 7 o'clock, whatever it was. So I'm going back to bed for an hour, I think. But that's fine. No, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. What shall I do? Clean the roof? No. Nah. <laughs> that's never happened, is it?